Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to crack a Mac OS X administrator account password and this tutorial applies to Mac OS X 10.7 and 10.8. If you're interested in cracking an administrator account password on Mac OS X 10.4, 10.5, or 10.6, refer to my other tutorial called How to Crack a Mac OS X Administrator Account Password. This tutorial will have a similar title except in parentheses I will have 10.7 and 10.8. So the first thing you're going to notice here is I have one administrator account and it's called John Doe. That is the administrator account that I'm going to retrieve and crack the password for. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is restart the system and we're going to boot into single user mode. And to do that we're going to hold the command and S keys when the system begins to reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to restart the system and I'm going to boot into single user mode. And it's booting up in single user mode with black screen and white text. We'll wait till it prompts us to enter a command. Okay, now that we're in single user mode, the first command that we need to enter is forward slash sbin forward slash mount space tack uw space forward slash. Press enter. Now we're going to type launch ctl space load space forward slash system with the uppercase s forward slash library with an uppercase l forward slash launch with an uppercase l daemons with an uppercase d forward slash com dot apple dot open directory d dot plist Press enter. Now type P A S S W D. And now it's asking us to change the password for the root account. So go ahead and enter any password you like. I'm simply going to use admin. And then you need to confirm your password. And it doesn't reflect that you're entering anything, but that's for security reasons. But you are, in fact, entering a password. Okay, now that we've changed the root password, we need to type reboot, and that's going to reboot the system and allow us to log in. And now that we're at the login screen, you can see the John Doe administrator account, which is the account that I want to crack. And here you see we have an option called other. We're going to select other, and then for the username, we're going to type root. And for the password, we're going to enter that password that we just created in single user mode. So for me, I created the password admin. Once you're done, log in. And you can see here we have logged in to the root account. From here, we need to download and install the Dave Growl password cracking utility. And we can do that by opening Safari. And then in the URL bar, go ahead and navigate to www davegrowl.org press enter and that's going to take us to the Dave Growl downloads page and we need to make sure that we download the correct version which for Mountain Lion and Lion the correct version is Dave Growl 2.01 so go ahead and select Dave Growl 2.01.zip and that will begin the download you can see up here in my download manager I'm downloading it and the Dave Growl utility has been placed in our downloads folder and we're going to leave it there Go ahead and exit out of Safari. Now what we need to do is we need to open the terminal application. And you can do that by opening a new finder window. Navigate to Applications. And then open the Utilities folder. And then open the Terminal app. Now that we're in Terminal, the first command we need to type is CD space downloads with an uppercase D forward slash Dave Growl, uppercase D, uppercase G, and all one word. And that's going to put us in the Dave Growl folder. Now what we need to do is we need to type sudo space dot forward slash Dave space tack U. And then we're going to enter the administrator account name, which for me is John Doe. That is the name of the account that I would like to crack. And once we press enter, it's going to go ahead and begin the cracking process. You can see here it started dictionary attack. 
Now this can take several minutes to several hours depending on the complexity of the password, so you'll have to be patient and wait till it completes. All right, you can see here that the Dave Growl utility finished cracking the password. It shows the password for John Doe as admin in all lowercase, and it'll also show how long it took to complete the attack, how many guesses it used, and how many guesses per second. Now you'll notice that it took a relatively long time to perform this attack. That's because I'm running my operating system in a virtual machine, and I've only designated one CPU to that virtual machine, which slows down this attack significantly. Now I've done that because in order to create a high quality screencast like I'm doing now, I have to run it in virtual machine. If I don't, I'll have to use a handheld camera to record the screen, which as I'm sure you guys know, dramatically decreases the quality of the video. So when you guys perform this attack, it's going to guess a lot faster. And for a password as simple as admin, I would imagine it'll crack it in under 10 seconds, maybe faster. So now that we've used this method, I'm going to show you guys an alternative method which would allow us to crack the password on a separate machine. And this method applies to those of you who are under time restraints. For example, you just don't have enough time to let the Dave Growl utility finish cracking the password on the administrator's physical machine. And I think this scenario is going to apply to most of you. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Dave Growl utility to recover the administrator's password hash. And then we're going to make note of that hash and we're going to use it on a completely separate system. We're going to download another password cracking utility called John the Ripper. And then we're going to use that hash with John the Ripper to decrypt it. And again, we're going to do this on a completely separate system so we can do it at our own convenience. So the first thing we need to do is we need to open a new finder window and then navigate to applications and then open up your utilities folder and then open up the terminal app. And we're going to do the same thing that we just did a few moments ago when we were first using the Dave Growl utility. So what we need to do is we need to type cd space downloads with an uppercase d forward slash dave with an uppercase d growl with an uppercase g in all one word. Press enter and now we're in the dave growl utilities folder. Now we need to type sudo space dot forward slash dave space tac j space and then the administrator account name which for me was john doe. And you'll notice that we're using TACJ instead of TACU now. And TACJ is telling the Dave Growl utility to produce the hash for John Doe. So go ahead and press enter. And you see here is produce the hash. What you need to do is you need to copy that or make note of it, physically write it down. I understand it's time consuming. The best alternative to that is to copy it and paste it in a text file and then use Safari to email it to yourself. So once you've done that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move over to a separate system now, and I'll continue the video there. All right, now that we've made note of that hash, we've moved to a separate system, and the first thing we need to do is download John the Ripper, which is another password cracking utility. So to do that, we're going to open up Safari, and in the URL bar, I want you to type www.openwall.com forward slash John press enter and that's going to take us to the John the Ripper website now you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see down here it says custom builds for Mac OS X go ahead and select that link and here it's going to bring us to a directory we need to find the John 1.7.3.1 which is this one right here the second one on the list so go ahead and select that and that's going to open up our downloads and allow us to download it. You can see here my download has already began in Safari Downloader. And there it is. And that file is going to be in your downloads folder. So now what we need to do is open up a new finder window and navigate to downloads. And you see here's our John the Ripper folder. What we need to do is rename that folder. Go ahead and rename it John the Ripper, all lowercase, all one word. And we're going to leave our John the Ripper folder exactly where it is which it should be in your downloads folder. So go ahead and close that finder window. Now what we need to do is create a new text file to place the administrator's password hash in. So go ahead and open up your text editor. I prefer text edit if you're using Mac. If you wrote the hash on a piece of paper, you can go ahead and manually enter the hash into the text file. Or if you took the easy route and stored the hash on a thumb drive or you emailed it to yourself, you can go ahead and copy the hash and then paste it into the text file. Now this is what your hash should look like. It should have your administrator account name followed by a colon 
and then the hash. So now that you've placed your hash in the text file, we need to remove some of the unnecessary characters because our hash should only be 32 characters long. So what you need to do is you need to highlight all of the characters from the beginning up to the third dollar symbol. So you'll notice here, mine begins with a dollar symbol, so I'm going to highlight it up to the third dollar symbol, and I'm going to include that third dollar symbol in there. So go ahead and highlight that, and once you've highlighted it, delete it. Now what we need to do is we need to find the next dollar symbol in our hash, which you can see here is the next dollar symbol in my hash. We're going to highlight everything, including that dollar symbol, and everything after it. Now you can go ahead and delete the highlighted characters, and that leaves us with a 64 character hash. What we need to do now is we need to select the last 32 characters of the hash. Which for me, are these characters right here. Go ahead and delete the last 32 characters, and we should be left with our administrator account name, followed by a colon, and then followed by 32 alphanumeric characters. So the format of your hash should look identical to mine. The characters in your hash are obviously going to be different. Okay, now that we've entered and modified our hash, we need to save the file. Go ahead and select File, and then select Save. We need to name the file SHA1, and then we need to change the file format to plain text. Now your file extension should be .txt. If it's not, that means you didn't select the correct file format. Now we need to select our save location, and we want to select our John the Ripper folder. So navigate to Downloads, and you'll see your John the Ripper folder. Select it, and there will be three items in it. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to save the file. So select Save. Okay, now that we've saved that file, we can go ahead and close it. Now we're going to use John the Ripper to decrypt the password hash. So we need to open the terminal application, and to do that, we'll open a new finder window. Then we'll navigate to applications. And then we'll open the utilities folder. And then in the utility folder, we'll open the terminal application. And you can see here we're in the terminal app. Go ahead and expand that window. You can go ahead and close out your finder window. Okay, now that we're in the terminal, we need to enter a command. And the first command that we're going to enter is cd space downloads with an uppercase D forward slash John the Ripper, all one word lowercase because that's the name of our folder that we created for John the Ripper. Press enter. You can see that we've now accessed our John the Ripper directory. Next, we're going to begin the decryption process. So to do that, we're going to enter dot forward slash run forward slash John space and then we're going to specify the name of that text file we created, which if you remember is SHA1.txt. And when we press enter, that's going to commence the decryption process. And you can see the decryption process is already finished. It produced the password admin in all lowercase. So depending on the complexity of the password, the decryption process can take seconds to hours. So you'll need to be patient. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial.